Queen Camilla's health struggles have forced her to adapt her royal commitments during the Emir of Qatar's state visit, underscoring the challenges of balancing duty with recovery. Meanwhile, Princess Catherine steps into an expanded role, marking a significant milestone in her return to public life. As the UK gears up for the highly anticipated state visit of the Emir of Qatar, Queen Camilla's reduced participation due to lingering effects of a viral chest infection has drawn attention. Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Queen, 77, will miss the ceremonial welcome at Horse Guards Parade on doctor's advice. While she has made strides in her recovery, post-viral fatigue continues to limit her energy, requiring her to take a step back from the more physically demanding aspects of royal duties. Despite this, Camilla remains committed to key elements of the visit, including hosting a private lunch at Buckingham Palace and attending the evening's glittering state banquet, albeit with some modifications to ensure she does not overexert herself. The viral infection, first diagnosed in early November, has led to several scaled-back appearances for the Queen over the past weeks. Known for her resilience, Camilla has been praised for her determination to fulfill her royal responsibilities. Even as she recuperates, her focus has been unwavering, reflecting her steadfast dedication to supporting King Charles amid a packed royal calendar. Sources close to the palace emphasize that there is no cause for alarm, describing the adjustments as precautionary to allow Her Majesty sufficient time to rest and recover fully. In a significant show of support, Princess Catherine is stepping up to play a pivotal role in the visit. This marks her most prominent engagement since completing preventative chemotherapy treatment. Catherine, 42, will welcome the Emir of Qatar and his wife, Sheikha Jawahar bin Hamad Al Thani, on behalf of the King and Queen, joining them at Horse Guards Parade for the ceremonial welcome and carriage procession to Buckingham Palace. Her presence signifies not only her gradual return to royal duties but also the monarchy's adaptability in ensuring a successful state visit despite unforeseen challenges. Following the procession, Catherine will attend a private lunch and view a collection of priceless Qatari artifacts at Buckingham Palace, further highlighting her central role in the day's events. The visit, the first Middle Eastern state visit of King Charles's reign, is a diplomatic highlight for the UK showcasing the enduring relationship between the two nations. The Emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and his wife bring a rich cultural legacy to the visit, underscored by the presentation of Qatari artifacts. Their arrival also underscores the strong trade, cultural, and military ties between the UK and Qatar. However, the occasion does not come without its complexities, with concerns over Qatar's human rights record lingering in the background. Queen Camilla's reduced role reflects her commitment to prioritizing health while fulfilling core responsibilities, a balance lauded by royal insiders as both practical and admirable. Meanwhile, Catherine's active involvement underscores the depth of the royal family's commitment to showcasing unity and resilience, even during challenging times. As the Emir of Qatar's state visit unfolds, it exemplifies the royal family's ability to adapt and maintain its role in fostering diplomacy and tradition. Queen Camilla's careful pacing and Princess Catherine's expanded role serve as reminders of the human element behind royal duties, resonating deeply with both domestic and international audiences. With their combined efforts, this state visit promises to be both meaningful and memorable.